Good afternoon. Within the last hour, the Senate passed the Extreme Risk Firearm Protection Bill, or Red Flag Law, by just two votes, with some Democrats crossing party lines. It came after a tense afternoon of debate. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live at the Roundhouse with more. Kim, this bill would allow law enforcement officers to petition the court to temporarily take away someone's guns if they are deemed a threat to themselves or to others. In too many of these mass killings and in the cases of suicide, we have noticed and we have knowledge too many times with these individuals telling friends, schoolmates, principals, family members of their intentions to do harm to others. And yet, despite that knowledge, too often times nothing is done. Lots of changes have happened to this bill since it was first introduced. Instead of allowing anyone, including friends and family, to petition the court, only law enforcement officials can do that. Backers of this say this could prevent school shootings, suicides, and mass murders. Opponents say we don't need this law because there's already a state mental evaluation law that could get people immediate help if they threaten to harm themselves or others not taking care of the behavioral health issues we need to in New Mexico. We're not educated. It came up during the hearing that people who lost loved ones didn't know we had this law. And that tore my heart, Mr. President. Someone could have survived and not have committed suicide if family members knew that we had this law in the books. This bill is backed by the governor, and four Democrats did vote against it. Those were Senators Richard Martinez, Senator John Arthur Smith, Gabriel Ramos, and Clemente Sanchez. Kim. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Now the red flag bill now heads to the House, where the Democrats also have the majority.